painted some more. I painted all the cabin sides now. So those are done. I also painted that wall underneath there. Kind of looks better. And I painted this. I also painted in that under there. And I painted in the bathroom lockers. So I painted some of the lockers, which is cool. And now we are working towards mounting the cockpit combing boards. Pete went along. Uh, we got that side all done cleaned. <clears throat> now we're gonna clean this side. Just moving everything out of the way. And then Pete went along up here and did the ceiling up underneath there so that we can caulk the decks now. So that'll be the next big thing is doing those decks, caulking that. Took the grinder, the same grinder that he used on the, on the bottom of Norna. And he ground this area right here. And there's the difference of like scraping the tar which I had to scrape the big, ma yeah, I had to scrape the big majority the big of it. Off. Now we got to clean it to how we want it to look. Yep. Pretty much. And, so yeah. I got to order more of those grinder discs. We don't want to go crazy, but still, however we had it, we might as well make it look as good as we can. And then we can oil it. He is planning the teak board to fit in the area that it needs to fit. He wishes he had his power planer at this moment in time. <laughs> Yeah, this is working pretty good. Yeah, good workout. She's wearing shorts. It's hot in there. Right now. Rain's coming down in the outside world here. The bus has been doing really good. It's due for an oil change. We gotta get some oil in the next couple days. Pete is beginning the install of this. Organized all of our rigging, sort of. Um, there's still a jumble over here, which I have no idea where all the all the rigging goes. We're not going to know until that goes up in the air. But I just sort of got it all strung straight and ran back and tied it all off. Some cushion under the ties, so hopefully it doesn't mess with the mast. I don't think so, though. I'll ask. I'll ask some of the locals see if this is a good idea or if I should leave the rigging on the ground. But anyway, so uh, there's that. Um, I think we're going to put, when we leave this year, we're actually going to put the dinghy right here. Maybe even on some sawhorses or on some blocking. Um, because last year we had it leaned up against the boat and I think uh, because it being leaned like that it cracked the edge of the dinghy. And we had to repair it, so to avoid that I think we're going to put the dinghy over here. Hammered the last bit of cotton and oakum on the edge that needed hammering. Pete put the shelf in so I could finish. So that is complete. Today we're going to get some product because we are running low ski on things. Um, so we're going to go get some, some stuff we need. Let's see, what did I do? I painted the lid to the dock box. It's gonna need two coats, so I put the first coat on just to get it covered. And then uh, I gotta get a little non-skid, and then I can roll the non-skid on. 
The other thing I did was I sanded down the counter. Uh, there's a couple pieces of uh, gasket material for the fridge that was bad, so I scraped those out. So, And I got some new material here, which I've been wanting to replace. These are new, these two, so I'm not going to replace those, but these needed to be replaced on this side. So I sanded down this countertop, which we did a couple years ago, but I want to just recoat it because this is this gets the most abuse, this kitchen area. The next spot that gets the most abuse is the nav table. So, and I have yet to varnish that, so I got that all sand, sanded down and I'm, I'm gonna polycrylic that or, or have a harder sort of varnish for the, all the countertops eventually. Uh, this is actually varnish on this table, but it's new. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it, as well as in the head. That's all pretty much. That's all been new varnish as well. Needs a couple more coats on that piece. So that's what I have going on so far. I think I'm done for today though. I'm, we're gonna be going to get a bunch of stuff from. First, we're going to Surrey because uh, we want to get dinghy davits made and we're trying to do it sort of a cheap way that way it's they're not super ex they're, it's a, it's the biggest part of the boat really it's a pretty big part of the boat so it's not going to be super cheap but anyways we are going to Surrey and going to look at getting new dinghy davits made I'm thinking I'll get these countertops all varnished up and then the rest of the varnish, I think I might just wait until we launch next year. And I'll just slowly, you know, I'll do this wall one day, that wall, you know, just kind of like move around the boat a little bit and slap some varnish here and there. Um, I have my 12 volt vacuum, so that'll come in handy when I do sand out at anchor. I don't think I'll do big projects like this table. I think I'll just do small inside projects. Nothing that'll cause too much of a mess, but enough to make it so it looks nice. Um, obviously the bigger jobs like painting the ceiling, uh, varnishing countertops, things like that, I'm going to get done before we move aboard because usually those are the most... This, this is the biggest surface that causes the most mess is this head... Uh, the ceiling and then also the countertops which um, we use pretty much through the extent of when we live aboard. And then moving forward in different things we want to do like put a top sail on her or you know make the square sails have a red and white sail you know maybe put a Yankee on her um, just things like that to sort of make it fun. So each year I think we're going to try to improve Norna in different places as we go along. Try to make her fun to sail, especially around main waters. Uh, make her look pretty out on the water. <laughs>